In the previous movie, you learned how easy it was to enter your tasks into Project. I took the liberty of adding a few more tasks for you. So if you open up Project Tasks in your exercise file, you'll see the list of tasks in our project. We're creating a web design project here, so these tasks are associated with the items that need to be performed in order to complete a web design project. Some of the items here are really a series of steps that need to be performed to complete a phase of your tasks. And to identify those, we need to create what are called subtasks. Now, there's different ways that you can create subtasks, and we're going to explore a few of them right now. First one, to create a subtask, the easiest way to do that is to go into the cell and start on that cell pointer. Select the task that you'd like to create as a subtask. Go to the project menu, select the outline command, and click the indent command. Notice how it indents the task that you selected and creates it as a subtask. It also identifies the task above it as a summary task. Now you'll notice it's a summary task because it's bolded. It has a indicator at the top beginning of the task, which will allow you to collapse or expand the series of steps within that phase or task. And also in your Gantt chart, it gives a different indicator over here where you now see a larger black line in your Gantt chart with a particular start and end date, whereas the task step that's below it is still in your regular blue outline. Now there's another way that you can identify a subtask or create a subtask. Again, select the task that you'd like to identify as a subtask. Bring your mouse over to the beginning of the text and you'll notice it's now turned into a double-sided arrow. As you click on that, you can now drag that subtask and indent it. Notice the large line that's coming up and I just pull it in to the level that I would like it to be with the other subtasks. As I release my mouse, it now moves that particular task over to become a subtask. Let's try that one more time. You select the task you like to create as a subtask, you identify the double-headed arrow, you click once and drag the task so that the line is now equal to the other subtask in that particular area, and you release it. So now these three tasks have been identified as subtasks of the summary defined project scope. There's one final way that you can identify subtasks, and this is the easiest way to do it if you have quite a few that you need to manipulate at one time. And to do that, you want to add in a new toolbar. So you will go up to the menu, selecting the View menu, go down to Toolbars, and click Formatting. Now what that does is it provides us with a new toolbar, a formatting toolbar, that gives us the indent and outdent buttons. They are right and left pointing arrows. Now, if I'm going to select a few tasks at one time underneath the develop functional site, so this is in row seven, I can use my shift key going down to row 12, which is the final task in that area. I then hold down my shift key so I select all of the different rows. I go up to my formatting toolbar and I click indent and with one click I've created all of the subtasks in this area under develop functional site. So in this particular movie you've seen three different ways to develop subtasks. Subtasks are the series of steps that are in a particular phase of your project and helps you identify different groupings of tasks that need to be performed in certain time frames. Next we're going to learn a few more time-saving tips by learning how to copy and move your tasks around.